Olympic Games in 2010 are awarded to the city of Singapore. I wish the people who criticize actually participated in the games or volunteered in the games or did something in the games. Now, my email address is public knowledge. So there were many people who were critical but constructive who sent me suggestions which I acted on. So I'm saying that there were critical but constructive suggestions and I appreciated that. Where possible, if I, you know, I tried to reply to them, respond to them. Um, but they made a difference to the games. They improved our performance. So I think that's, that's fine. Of course, there are other people who, you know, for, for whom not, this is just part of a larger <laughs> mission of criticizing us. I mean, for them, I can't please them. And to be honest with you, I didn't bother. So even the newspaper report about, you know, I didn't even know about it until I read about it in the papers. It shows that I almost didn't care. I had more important things to do. I had good feedback and good suggestions from so many people, and I focused on that. So it, I, di I didn't lose sleep about that. I think the, I want to say something about these online critics because we are having followed the games and right from the beginning time until the end of the games today, we all work so hard, and especially 20 over 1,000 volunteers, mm. even the athletes, coaches, officials, everybody yeah. give out so much effort, blood, sweat and tears. Yep. I think the least the online critics could do is to appreciate, you know, these efforts has been put in over the last two and a half years. If they don't support for whatever matter, certain organization, or they have political reasons, they also should not take away the good things that has been done, the hard work of all these volunteers, staff, officials, and athletes. I've read the online critics as an example on the football team. You know, I followed this football team when they were about 13 years old. They lost all the matches in Asian youth games. Mm -hmm. So very few people put hopes in them, but they train really hard. They say, we're going to do Singapore proud. I think they brought, they lifted YOG. Yes. You know, their success, or bronze medal success, has actually spilled over into the other sports, has actually converted the non-converts to support YOG. And some online critics will say, well, what are the teams they play against? Come on, let's... Um, I think let's at least appreciate the hard work they put in. These are 15-year-old boy. 15-year-old football game, pep an entire stadium. How many times you see that? How many times can you see that? Mm. And I also want to thank you know people in the streets that came up to came up to me or came up to us and and start telling us that you know what we really appreciate you know this YOG coming to town. Or sometimes, you know, when they, before the first game in the football, and they came up to me and said, you got to beat the other team, you know, you got to beat them. But we, you know, even the taxi driver said, uh, speaking in Chinese, I think it's not I think it's not Ugelintan, it's Ubiling, you know. So I said, yeah, you, know, you must, you must, you know. I think for those uh, blood, sweat, and tears that put up, I, I believe that uh, they deserve commendation and appreciation from all of us. Yeah. Just, lot, just now you were getting pretty uh, emotional, you almost killed. You cried. Could you tell us what that was about? Huh? <laughs> 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 it's just uh, the, the journey. The journey. So, uh, just the journey, that's it. And, and I appreciate the minister's support. I think I was one of the first to believe in it. Uh, believe in the Olympic project. I remember something he said. If Singapore can't do this, what else can we do? So let's bid for it. I think there are not many people believe in this type of vision. So all along, you, you could say that uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, 
I'm actually just riding along in my own self-belief uh, and strong belief that I think Singapore can do it. Small city, we have big dreams, we can realize our dreams. Our athletes prove that as well, our volunteers prove that as well, our officials, men in the streets, who welcome all our guests, they prove that as well. You know, based on his self-belief, I, you know, at the risk of being immodest, you know, I, I don't think anybody has worked harder, run longer, you know, talked to more people, or organized more events for this YOG than Teo You know, I dare any one of you to name me anyone who has worked that hard. So if he, I think if he wants to be emotional, he has a right to be emotional. 